Well, that first visit was the turning point in the relationship. Things were happening, but they were not happening at the pace that you see today. This speaks volumes of how special uh, he holds uh, this relationship uh, and uh, how special he holds uh, Indians in, in his heart. It's always important, I think, when uh, a leader of a nation comes here and meets with the diaspora and speaks with the diaspora, it, it kind of re-emphasizes uh, the message that uh, the two leaders are uh, trying to uh, re-emphasize every single time they meet, every single time they have a public uh, kind of engagement. And this engagement specifically is no less important uh, when it comes to that. Uh, so, how do you see the bilateral relationship between the two la leaders, specifically? And you know, Prime Minister Modi in 2015, he was the first Prime Minister after we, uh, who visited in 34 years to UAE. So, how do you see that, and also the the bond that uh, President and Prime Minister share together? Well, that first visit was the turning point in the relationship. The relationship has been there for quite some time. The diaspora have uh, been here for quite some time, and. Uh, Things were happening, but they were not happening at the pace that you see today. And this is thanks to the special bond and the special uh, friendship between the two leaders. Uh, I was there in uh, Ahmedabad in uh, Gujarat, and uh, they were discussing all kinds of things. Uh, obviously, I got my list of uh, to-do lists and homework afterwards uh, to follow up on. Uh, but it says a lot, because every single time you think, okay, uh, we discussed quite a few things. Uh, they passed on those instructions to us. What else are they going to discuss the next time? And then, you know, when, when you get the next list, uh, you're quite fascinated by the kind of thinking that the two leaders share. And also, it was very rare for the president to address at the COP summit. Uh, sorry, at the Gujarat Biden summit. True. Um, and this speaks volumes of how special uh, he holds uh, this relationship uh, and uh, how special he holds uh, Indians in, in his heart. Anything that you can tell on the discussions between the two leaders that is going to take place? I believe there are some bilateral agreements that are going to be signed. Something. There are quite a few MOUs that uh, will be signed, but the finalists have not been finalized because I think up to the uh, very specific moment when they will exchange those MOUs, we will have the final list uh, because we're trying to do as many of them as possible. What I can tell you is uh, probably they will be uh, following up on what was discussed uh, in the previous meeting. And that meeting also was uh, a follow-up on what was discussed in the meeting before. And the last meeting, for example, they discussed uh, new sectors where the UAE and India could uh, cooperate, aerospace, for instance, AI, uh, education, what more can we do, so on and so forth. And I know for a fact that we will come out of this visit also with a longer list of uh, to-do lists uh, and of things that need to be uh, progressed further in this relationship.